So to see how a payment is applied is a few ways, right? Um, let's go ahead and create an invoice really quick for Azure, and we'll just say uh, any product, hundred dollars, no tax, oops, no discount, sorry, hundred dollars, no tax. Validate this. So there's two ways to to apply a payment, right? If you receive a payment in you can do it in the first way is to go to accounting, customers, payments, and create a new payment. And here you can receive money from customer, type in the customer name, the amount, the journal, date, memo, save it. And once you confirm, it posts the journal entries for this payment. Now, once those journal entries are posted, and just to specify, right, it hits the uh, accounts here, bank and accounts receivable. Once that's hit, you can then go to the matching and Odoo will recommend, you know, via the tool here, some likely invoices under that customer. And just like that, you can click reconcile and it reconciles that payment. And if we go look at that invoice against the $100, you know, payment, we'll see it was marked as paid. And we can drill down, we can look at the journal entries and we can go look at the reconciled entries and see that this payment was applied with this matching number to this invoice. And if we drill into that, you know, we'll be able to see the journal entries again for that payment, just like that. So, and obviously the matching number here, the invoice against that bank payment. So that is how that payment receipt works. The second option is to create an invoice uh, just as the starting point. And you don't need to have an invoice in the system to receive a payment, right? I could have no invoice. I could receive a payment and just create it manually by going to accounting payments, create, uh, and as I just showed you, just the same way. The second way is to go directly from the invoice. So look at an open invoice, any, you know, any open invoice for 4610. And right from this invoice, you don't have to go create a payment and match it. You can actually click register payment right here. So if a customer calls up, let's take a step back. Customer calls up, says, you know, I want to make a payment for invoice, you know, uh, 0004. You can just type in invoices, type in the invoice number, open that invoice up, register payment, and validate it. And it'll post and create the payment automatically, reconciled against that invoice. Or the customer may say, I want to... Uh, make a payment for all my outstanding invoices, which at that point you can select action, register payment, and they would need to be obviously open. And these are some of these are paid. So if I just um, filtered open and there were more than one, I could action, register payment, and apply one lump sum payment across many open invoices. And let's just look at how that looks quickly um, for, let's say, uh, thousand dollars oops I need to add a product no tax a thousand dollars save it and when I validate it it marks it as open and now I'll have two open invoices for Azure select action register payment and I can validate for that total amount and it'll close both those invoices out and it'll create the payment as you see here Received the money from customer Azure 5610. Here's the invoices that it hit. And then I can see those related invoices right through here that were paid via that payment. And again, you can see that uh, the 5610 posted here. See the invoices, drill down, and see what it was reconciled against again at any time, just like that. So if you have any questions, let me know.